Hello everyone! Today I'll present a new plugin dedicated for making gear trains in Fusion 360. All links both to the installers and other pages are available under the video. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. 1. Interface Interface is divided into 5 tabs. For if there's only one stage, and few common areas visible always like menu, table of stages, estimated time and error messages, if occurs. First tab, Mind Parameters, contains the most important setting of gears like module, number of teeth, their shape, thickness or pressure angle. Each gear can be dimensioned in millimeters or inches independently. Second tab, Modifications, contains setting for modifying teeth. In this place you can change such parameters like Profile Shift, Tapper, Backlash, Tip Relief, Addendum or Side Chamfers. On the third tab, Transmission, you have access to defining rules of connections between stages, their orientations and you can see ratios of the train. On the 4 tab axles, you can set axis of the stage dimension in millimeters or inches. The last tab information contains links to the folders used by the plugin, its documentation and the policy link. Documentation can be also displayed by clicking the I icon in the bottom of the plugin window. Ok, so now let's tell more about common sections. In the menu section you have access to the few groups of buttons. Parameters is mainly used to save parameters to the file or load from it. You can also reset current settings by pressing the third button. Preview type is used to visualize dimensions and alignments of train's elements. Dimensions of entire cage, which is the minimum bounding box of the train, are displayed both in millimeters and inches. If you need to see detailed information about stage and its gears, you can switch to the third mode, which also shows this information. It is very useful if you need to check alignment and distances between profile shifted gears. Selected stage is colored in pale green, whereas others are grayed and more transparent. Preview draws only coarse models of gears so you don't see the teeth or chamfers but you can clearly see the most important dimensions like thickness and diameters. In case of gears there are few rings on them. Edge rings means root and outside diameters. Thick ring means pitch diameter, but if the gear is shifted or is paired with a shifted gear, it is also marked by another thin ring, which is a working pitch diameter. You can also turn off the preview clicking the first button if you don't want to see this. Plugin doesn't check collisions between elements, so first you need to see the set from few points of view to be sure there is no overlapping parts. Next row of buttons, Project Mode, lets you to quickly switch plugin between modes depending on the case you need. In the first mode, you can construct trains of few stages, one or two geared, with different connections between them, but gears in this mode can be only external. Internal gears can be created in other modes. Second mode lets you create pairs of gears, it means two stages, but with only one gear each. Third mode is useful when you need to prepare some adapter, for example from millimeters to inches, or reduction. Last mode is used only for single gears. Below the menu section is a table which contains stages. Here you can set the name of stage and see its gears parameters. If there is more than single stage, you can also see a flow between stages. Arrow indicates which gear is driver and which is driven. For example, in the second stage we see that it is connected with the first stage by the second gear. In the train mode you can also add and delete stages. 
those buttons are inactive in other modes. Right above the OK button there's an estimation time message which indicates amount of time probably needed by the plugin for making designed stages. The more runs, the more accurate estimation will be. There is also an error information section, but it's only visible when some entered values are outside range or causes problems for other settings. Ok, now on my parameters tab in details. This tab is divided into two main sections, each for one gear, first and second, if attached. Unit switch uses to change dimensioning of gear, which can be measured in millimeters or inches. Module, teeth number, pressure angle and clearance factor are used to set the main parameters of gear. Teeth shape is used to change shape of teeth of the gear. There are five options, straight, helical, herringbone, double helical and double helical with shift. Opposite teeth are rotated by half tooth angle. In case of non-straight teeth, you have access to the other inputs. Two view, normal or axial, helix angle and teeth direction. For double helical teeth, you can also set width and depth of groove. Second gear has the same settings available, but in the train mode, it can also have a checkbox which lets you to attach or detach it. This switch is only active when gear is passive. Passive gears are indicated by the white rectangle, whereas those which transmits power, no matter idlers or not, are marked by black rectangles. In three other modes, you can also see buttons for switching gears from external to internal and otherwise. If gear cannot be internal, you'll see the message or error what needs to be done to achieve this. Modifications tab contains settings for changing profiles, backlashes, tappers, reliefs and chamfers. Tapper factor and tip relief inputs are turned on only for external gears. Additionally, tip relief cannot be applied together with profile shift, tapper and backslash and otherwise. There is also information about thickness of tooth slant for given parameters. If you want to finish gear by chamfers, you have three options, both left side or right. If you don't want this, you can turn it off by pressing the first button. This tab contains also a checkbox which lets to add joints to the created stages. They are useful for motion analysis. I'll tell more about joints and how to get motion links without defining them manually in the next part of the video. Transmission tab is visible only in pair or train mode. In the first section, transmission, you can define connection between currently selected stage and the previous one. If the stage is first, these buttons are not visible. Buttons represent possible connections between gears. First first, first second, second first and second second. Below are ratios. There are displayed final ratio between the first and the last stage, this stage ratio between the first and the selected stage and ratio to previous between only selected and previous. Ratios also show direction of rotation in relation to the first stage. Second section lets to change position of selected stage in relation to the previous one. There are two types of orientation by XY shifts or by angle. Position of the stage is driven by the selected or entered angle. When angle is chosen there are four default values like 0, 90, 180 or 270 degrees or custom button 
which lets to enter custom value between 0 and 360 degrees. In case of setting position by XY shifts, you can change both values, but it automatically changes profile shifts of driven gear of current stage and the driving gear from previous stage. XY option is not available if two profile shifts are locked in train mode. It is also not available in the pair mode, when one gear is internal and one of profiles is locked. Locking profiles is useful in train mode when you need to have idler gears. To prevent changing previous gears profile shift, it needs to be locked and only next gears shift will be changed. XY changes and rotation of stage is also visible in third mode of preview. When automatically calculated profiles values aren't meet your requirements, you can always change them manually and check XY shift or angle in the display parameters. In the Excel tab, you can turn on or off Excels and set units for them. There are available maximum three Excels. First, middle, between gears, and the end axle if second gear is attached. Additional features When stages are prepared, they are organized as components in a new document. Each component has a name corresponding with the name of stage. Gears and axles in each component are regular bodies. You can also change their names or merge bodies wherever you want, but the initial state of all of them are separate. Each component has written all calculated parameters inside the properties field. For better reading, content of this field needs to be passed to the sum text editor. At the top of this listing is the name of stage. Below are other sections like first gear, second if attached, dimensions, motion link formulas for all stages, ratios and orientation. Sections about gears contain their mind dimensions and radial parameters calculated during process. Each parameter is described in details in the products page. Dimensions section contains diameter and length of stage. Diameter means maximum diameter of imaginary cylinder, which is required to fit stages gears and axles. For example, if stage is a kind of sum adapter with a big plate between first and second gear, this diameter will hold a value of the plate's diameter. Motion link formulas keeps already prepared expressions, which can be copied and put into motion links inputs when motion links are defined. It is useful when you want to check stages in motion. Order of selecting joints is always the same. First joint is the joint of current stage, whereas the other is of previous or next stage. Corresponding formulas are described in this way, to previous to next, so proper expression can be easily found. Ratios section contains factors of ratios. All stages keeps information about final ratio but there's also two others, stage and previous ratio. Stage ratio relates factor from the third stage to this one. Previous ratio relates ratio only between the previous stage and the current one. Last section is placement and rotation. It keeps values of XY shift and angle of rotation of this stage in relation to the previous. It also shows additional angle, which means rotation of the stage around its own axis. It is useful when stage must be copied to the other document. After this, such stage won't be matched, so teeth will be overlapped. For proper matching, component can be rotated about this angle.
Changing parameters of connected gears. Parameters of connected gears are changed automatically when one of connected gear is changing. When module, pressure angle, tip shape, tube view, helix angle, thickness, units or clearance factor will be changed, it'll trigger matching the same attributes in other gears. Of course, it recalculates gears parameters, so orientations of stages probably will need to be verified again. Changing parameters will also occur when some internal stage will be deleted and remaining stages will be connected. In this situation, algorithm tries to connect passive gears to minimize changes, but you have in mind that in most situations it can change existing parameters in newly connected gears if they are different. Adding new gear automatically connects it with the first gear of the previous stage. In this case, the new gear will be matched to the previous gear and previous gear won't be changed. Samples Example 1. External single gear dimensioned in inches. Let's say we want double helical gear with 40 degree helix angle and 36 teeth oriented right. Gear must be without axles. We also want a quarter of inch module in normal view, 0.1 clearance factor, 2 inch thickness and a 3 quarter inch groove depth to a half of inch. As a modification, we want 0.4 profile shift factor, 132nd backlash, 0.1 tupper factor, and finished by both chamfers using default values. Example 2. External zero shifted gear dimensioned in millimeters. In this example we slightly change the previous gear. Assume that we need straight teeth without modifications as before, but with a tip relief. Example 3. Internal gear for 3D printing. In this case we need an internal gear for 3D printed proof of concept. This gear need to have double helical shifted teeth, back plate and chamfers only for left side. For making back plate we use an end axle. Its diameter can be get from parameters in third mode of preview.
Now let's match the axle with gear. Example 4. Reduction dimensioned in millimeters. External, external. Assume we need to make a simple reduction for 1 mm module and 20 and 40 teeth without any modifications, chamfers or axles. Example 5. First gear in inches, second in millimeters. External, external. This time we need an adapter for different system of units, but with access with the same diameter dimensioned in inches. Example 6. External internal reduction. Let's say we need internal with straight teeth, axle larger than its diameter and an external helical gear. Example 7. External, external helical, axial, with orientation driven by angle. First gear teeth number 25, second gear teeth number 150, first gear profile shift factor 0.6, second gear profile shift factor 0.25, module 5 mm. Second stage must be oriented by angle, which value is 255 degrees. Example 8. External external helical, normal, with orientation driven by XY shifts. Assumptions as previous but angle in range from 330 to 340 degrees and XY shifts rounded to wall millimeters.
Example 9. External internal helical, normal, orientation driven by XY. Assumptions as previous, but angle must be in the second half, from 90 to 180 degrees. In this case, both profile shifts must be unlocked, and only internal gears factor will be changed, whereas external gears factor will become as zero. If it isn't enough for given requirements, you can change profile shifts manually and check the X, the Y shifts on displayed parameters. Example 10. Simple train with idler. Stages oriented by default angles. Second stage oriented by 270 degrees and third stage oriented by 180 degrees. Example 11. Four stage reduction without idlers. Dimensioned in millimeters. Positioned horizontally, rounded to wall millimeters. Example 12. Three stage reduction without idlers with different units, positioned both by angle and XY shifts.
Example 13. Divider. Let's say we need to model such set with second gear as input. That's all. I hope the presented plugin and examples will be useful and helps you for designing. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching this and see you next time. Bye.